were talking about uh, sort of finding that distinctive Canadian voice. Yeah. Um, one thing that, you know, is the predominant struggle for film and television is finding an audience for your stuff. Because as far as I'm concerned, from what I've seen, we have the talent. You know, we have some of the resources, but mm. we really fail to find that homegrown audience or yeah. international audience. Do you think part of that is connected to the fact that we haven't found that sort of distinctive voice? I think that's part of it. I think that's part of it. I think it's also, you know, it's really a big machine to, uh, as I've learned through the process of you and Nurse Spider Boy, from concept to present presentation to the people. It's a long journey and it's very difficult because, you know, he who has like the, the money to, to let people know that this thing is happening and let you know to be there whether you like it or not is going to get like quite a few people out you know and I think that that is sort of the the pitfalls here I mean we all talk about sort of the marketing and sort of the the distribution and sort of things that that don't allow people to know but I don't think there's been uh, a strong sense of, of uh, sort of brand loyalty built between the film community and the audience the Canadian audience I don't think that, uh, you know, I think Canada went through a great hate, uh, period with the Bruce McDonald's and Adam, Adam McGoins and certain guys that came in. They were working at a certain time where, where I think it, I'm not saying it was easier, but there was a little more flow of, of funds and so on and so forth. And I think that if at that time there was really a specific sort of uh, uh, mandate put on how we promote our work, I think we would be in a certain system. That we is some somewhat somewhat of a template that we understand that we expect. I remember being at the film center and when Ginger Snaps came out, people were freaking out because they saw a trailer on television. Like, wow, you know, I'm like, wait a minute, shouldn't this be their norm? Why is it new for us? Why is this such? And this is only in 2001, 2002, right? Um, so I think there's this thing because you know we're so close to America. There's this huge bombardment of of product, and and they do a good job at telling people, get out there. And we don't do a uh, good enough job of that. But I don't think we do a good uh, enough job, uh, 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 that kind of job, because I think we're a little more honest <laughs> here, too. So there's these little factors. Like, you know, I think that I rarely see someone out of this country telling someone, hey, come and see this or come out to this. Or you got to come, you got to come and come and come and come, really pushing it, um, knowing that it's really whack. They believe it's good. I think people in America is so bad, they know something's not good, and they still push you to go see it, and they still get your money. And I think that, you know, we don't promote it, we're known to be, a, our culture is known to be a little more subtle, a little more, you know, um, understated. And I think that's totally reflective in the way that we actually promote our work. I think it's, it's, it's in our culture. But I think that our generationally now, I think that there are, are, are like people come with a level of entrepreneurship and, and ideas, uh, technical, uh, you know, um, sort of innovations and, and ideas to, to get their stuff out there. I think it's, you know, there will be a turnover. There's some things happening. But I think that it's, uh, yeah, we, I don't think we've built that loyalty with our audience. I think, you know, oh, I don't want to see that Canadian film and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, you know they, sure, say that. Like, you know, you're right to your opinion. But, but you can't make that a wash across the board, you know. You can't make that, oh, it's Canadian, you know, I'm not going to go see it. Because we have incredible talent, amazing, amazing talent. And sometimes I think that this country just doesn't know what to do with it.